Hey everyone, how's it going today? Crypto Foxy here. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Phantom is having a great run up today. We're going to take a look at what's going on here. Um, obviously, you know, the broader market is also having a, a pretty decent day today, but Phantom has been ahead of the curve. So let's jump into it in this video. Make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe to the channel as well for more cryptocurrency news. Up uh, double digits today, almost into the 14% range. Um, this is what is basically going on with Phantom. This is a quick update on their ecosystem and what's going on there. Uh, so their transition to Sonic has been moving along. Sonic Labs, previously the Phantom team has just announced a post on X that Sonic is going to be the first native integration for on-chain access to wallet scoring enabling developers access to a potential $11 trillion market. So that's basically doing like, it's almost like a, like a, like a credit score for your wallet. So that's very interesting. I've been looking into that a little bit. Uh, so this is going to open the doors for unsecured lending global market. Uh, the Sonic testnet also went live on the 6th of September, according to the team behind the project who also wrote that the play to earn testnet games are next. That's interesting. Um, obviously they are shifting to this new Sonic um, network here and it's newly rebranded from Phantom Team and the transition involves introducing the Sonic chain and the S token that is designed to replace the Phantom FTM token on a one-to-one -one basis. So Sonic Network is an ultra-fast layer one blockchain also included in the launch of a $120 million fund allocated in FTM tokens to support developers and projects migrating to the Sonic Network. So they're bringing in developers by offering some incentives there, which is a really smart idea. What is the Sonic upgrade? So this is basically what it's going to do, and what the what the changes that are going to be brought on chain. Uh, speed boost, speeds of over 200 transactions per second and a single second finality. So very, very fast, very, very um, you know, and cheap as well. And they're also bringing uh, FVM, which is the Phantom Virtual Machine, replaces the old Ethereum Virtual Machine model that performs the following. It converts old EVM bytecode into a new virtual machine format, supporting super... Um, in instructions, optimizing bundles of commonly occurring transaction types. So it's very easy for them basically to transition over. Phantom validators are going to be more efficient and speedy as well. Uh, they can execute smart contracts with more efficiency and speed of up to 65 times compared to old EVM uh, mechanics. Reduce it, reducing storage requirements. So they're going to be able to reduce storage requirements by about 90%. And this is basically how they're doing it. They're going to simplify data retrieving live pruning. Live pruning is the ability for validators to discard historical data that's no longer required without disrupting the network. You think about it in terms of your computer, you go in and you remove those temporary internet files, the things that you don't really need anymore, um, that basically just take up storage and make it uh, longer for your, you know, your disk space to kind of... Uh, things to filter through when you're looking for something, right? So that frees up space and it decreases storage requirements. Very important in my opinion. Uh, they also have incentives and airdrops. Uh, they're going to be incentiv incentivizing builders with a blast airdrop to those who get accepted and to build for Sonic on Sonic. This is going to increase the dApps produced on the network by bringing in uh, more builders. So that is really cool. Phantom is doing some pretty cool things over there, in my opinion. Um, they're obviously setting themselves up. They were a massive player in the last bull market, and I think that they are going to be here for a long time, and they are doing some really cool things there. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this transition into uh, Sonic. So Phantom, Phantom to Sonic, I'm really excited, and I'll let you guys know when once we hear any more uh, from the development team. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate your support of my videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.